Thank you to Commercy Kitchen Company for sponsoring today's video. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another grocery haul and meal plan. Today's video is also sponsored by Commercial Kitchen Company. They sent me this large thermal insulated tote to review for you guys. So of course, we all know if we go to Aldi, we have to have our own bags. And honestly, I haven't been to Aldi in a long time and I've been wanting to. So I knew when I got this bag in that that is the first stop that I had to go. So I took this bag and along with my others and headed to Aldi, um, as y'all seen in the clips before this. So I wanted to take the time to talk about this for just a second. It is a huge, tote. <laughs> it is a large thermal insulated tote. It has a huge pocket in the inside. Huge, huge. It held, it held a ton of the cold food items that I needed um, for this trip. It has a little um, pocket in the front with a little um, sticker thingy. What's it called? I don't remember what that's called. Um, it has a strap handle on it. And then it also has two of the regular handles on it as well. And one of the things that I thought was awesome, which y'all might think I'm weird, but it came with a bottle opener. Um, and it's crazy because when I got out of Kroger, I had a drink that I needed to pop the top off and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have a bottle opener with me. And then I remembered that this bag had one. So I was able to open my drink in the car thanks to this bag. <laughs> so it was perfect. Um, so I love having, having that on there because even if you take this on like a camping trip or take it full of drinks to a party or anything, you're ready to go. And one of the other things I loved about this um, that I've seen in the pictures before I even got this, before I even got this, is watch. This, the straps come in. So you can carry it like this. So if you need to haul casseroles, hot or cold, if you have a freezer meals that you're taking to a friend, anything that needs to lay flat, you can easily carry it because of the way that this, the straps are designed, which I love that because y'all know I take freezer meals all the time to friends. I'm always taking food to parties and stuff. And that is one of the things that does suck about most thermal bags is because you don't have this option. <laughs> you just have to hold it and hope for the best. Um, and so I love that the way that this strap is designed, um, you can either hold it like this or you can pull it out and have both. And both sides do that. This side does it also. So both side straps do that. So um, I will have all the information listed in the description box below if you are interested in one of these. I love it, highly recommend it. Um, keep it in your car for your quick grocery trips or take it to a party <laughs> or carry your food in it also for a party. So I highly recommend this. Um, so like I said, we did go to Aldi and we went to Kroger. So for Aldi, I spent $58.96. And then at Kroger, I spent 
$59.72. So I have everything set out here for um, Aldi first. So we'll share that and then we'll put this up and then get out the Kroger stuff. So here is everything that I picked up at Aldi. Y'all, it had been so long since I had been. I've seen several hauls for Aldi recently and I just really wanted to go. Found a couple things that I was looking for and a few guilty pleasures. So we picked up some sour cream. Um, this was two of these two were the ones I was looking for. I had seen these um, non-dairy frozen bars on all these um, Instagram. So I definitely wanted to try these for myself and for Winston. And then I also wanted to try the oat milk ice cream also. This is the non-dairy frozen dessert. This one is the vanilla cookie chip. And then we've got the peanut butter bars. So I was definitely looking for those when I went um, today. Picked up some of these three cheese tortellini to have. You could throw these in the freezer in case you didn't know, um, but I do plan on having these this week. Picked up some chicken nuggets. Always hear good things about the red bag chicken nuggets, so I thought I would give those a try. These I've been looking for. I've seen several people haul these, so I was excited to see them there. They, it's just the hash brown sticks. Got two bags of broccoli florets. Got some crackers, regular, and then I got some wheat thins. And then I picked up this Asian sesame dressing. I thought this would be really good with chicken in the crock pot and then serve it over rice. So we're definitely gonna give that a try. Picked up some pesto. Winston picked out some of the puff corn and the veggie chips instead of veggie straws. He said he wanted to give the chips a try. Got some restaurant style tortilla chips, two packs of bacon. Their bacon's normally a really good price and um, it was $3.99 today. So I went ahead and picked up two packs. If you watched my bonus haul on Friday, you knew that I wanted to get some bacon to put in the freezer. I just couldn't justify paying $5 for it. So I know it's just a dollar cheaper, but $3.99 is still a good deal around here. So I bought it and so we'll put that in the freezer. Picked up some of this raspberry lemonade. We've had it before. It's been a long time, clearly, since we don't go to Aldi often, but it is very good lemonade. I picked up two of the Hawaiian sweet rolls. Got a 12 count of eggs. And I got our favorite cookies, the peanut butter filled cookies are mine. And then the um, coconut cream or caramel coconut fudge is Luke's favorite. And then just of course some freezer bags. So that's everything that I got at Aldi. I didn't go crazy. We didn't need a whole lot this week, just kind of odds and ends. And it's more like stuff that we want instead of needs, but I was happy to finally get my butt into Aldi. Here is my poor Kroger haul. <laughs> Just spent uh, $59.72. In case you forgot when I said it at the beginning, we got, of course, two packs of L8, some green tea, got a loaf of bread. They were out of the normal dollar tortillas that I normally get, so I just went ahead and picked up the this Kroger brand. Got a half a gallon of 2% for cooking, and then we're going to try the lactose-free chocolate milk. I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I bought myself a little regular Kroger milk, um, chocolate milk. Y'all, it murdered me. I got so sick. And since then I have not drunk any milk products, um, except for the, um, silk. So I'm guessing that I have a lactose problem also. I'm telling you, it made me so, so sick. Luke was like, I'm gonna have to take you to the hospital if we don't figure out what this is. But I figured out that it was the chocolate milk. So I'm going to try the lactose-free and see how that does for myself and for Winston. Of course, silk almond milk, y'all already know. We buy that every week. Winston picked up some donuts, got him some bananas, got a can of black olives. We needed onions and potatoes. We both were low on both of those, so I picked both of those up. Got some ground beef, 
got a three pound of ground beef. The cheese was on sale for four for six. So I went ahead and just picked up four different kinds. I got sharp cheddar, Italian blend, cheddar jack, and mozzarella. And then we're also gonna try, Winston wanted to try the protein. This is the lactose free peach. He said he wanted to try it. Y'all know, if y'all been here a while, you know how he is with yogurt products. He just doesn't like the texture. But I'm not going to tell him no. If he wants to try it, maybe he'll like a different flavor. So we picked up the peach one. And then I got me a vanilla lactose-free yogurt. And then he picked out the cinnamon roll lactose-free. So we'll give it a try again. See if he likes it or not. Got some bologna. And then I got two of these, which y'all already seen. I've been drinking all mine. The Mandarin drinks. I got one for Luke, one for me. And then Winston picked out a Snapple apple. So that is everything from Kroger. And let me put this stuff away and I'll share the meal plan with you guys. Okay, I'm going to add this into the grocery haul video for today. We ran into Myers. My grandma called and said that the hamburger meat was five. Uh, let me see. $5.97 um, for, three, uh, for three pounds. So we ran up there and got some hamburger meat, plus we got some other stuff. So we got 12 pounds total of the hamburger meat. Glad that they had that on sale. We also picked up a pack of chicken. It was $9.36. This was at Meyer. I don't know if I said that or not. And then we picked up some mozzarella sticks for our appetizer for our at-home date night tonight. And those are already in the air fryer because we're starving. Picked up some hamburger buns. We're going to do some hamburgers tonight. And then Luke picked up his favorite um, gelato. This is the black raspberry chocolate chip. This is his favorite. And then he got two sirloin steaks. He got a couple limes. And then my favorite favorite of this haul is the Monster Mash. Um cereal y'all they this year i have not seen this in the previous years this is the first time i've seen this they have mashed all of the halloween um the general mills halloween cereals they've put them all together in one box so you've got the blueberry and the frankenberry and then you've got the count chocula of the marshmallows and then you have the other marshmallows from the other box so it's all in it's all in one it's all in one box. So I was super excited to see that. Um, I absolutely love the monster um, cereals when it comes out for Halloween. I always try to get them all. So I was excited to see this. And y'all know I don't like paying full price for cereal, but this was $3.99 and Hubby Man was sweet enough to let me get it. <laughs> I'm so excited. So if you love those uh, cereals as much as I do, go and um, try and see if you can find this. So I haven't seen it anywhere else. I just seen it at Meyer when we went today. So hopefully y'all can find it in other stores, but that is our little Meyer haul. Y'all already know I had been looking, waiting for the hamburger meat to go on sale. So we were happy to get that. And then we also got some more chicken, so. Here is the meal plan for the week. As you know, we don't follow actually Sunday through Saturday. I just pick and choose what feels good for dinner that night. So we've got a steak and baked potato, which actually I've already fixed this. And we ended up doing roasted vegetables instead of baked potatoes, but it was super delicious. Luke asked for nachos this week. And um, so I have everything here to do that. Um, I had to get the chips, of course, from Aldi. But everything else we have here, so that worked out perfect. And then I want to actually make chicken Alfredo. I tried to do uh, a couple weeks ago. I had it on the menu. I ended up making a new recipe and it turned out crap. <laughs> so I was like, I'm actually going to make my chicken Alfredo this time because it sounds super delicious. So we're going to do some broccoli with that. And then I'm going to do Salisbury steaks with um, gravy, of course, and then some mashed potatoes and some other side. I don't know what other side I want yet. And then pesto chicken and noodles. That's one of our favorite crock pot recipes. I'll have that recipe linked down below for you guys. 
And then Luke also asked for Sloppy Joe's this week. I don't know what side, maybe French fries or something like that. But we're going to do some Sloppy Joe's and maybe fries. <laughs> and then Luke and I both said that just a good like grilled chicken sandwich sounds really good with some cheese and um, maybe onion for Luke. So we're going to do some chicken sandwiches. And I have no clue what side's on that either. But if you're not new here, if you've been around a while, you know I have a full stock up. So we have a ton of veggie, canned veggie options, um, box noodle options. So y'all know we have a bunch of options here for side dishes. But that is the game plan for this week of meals. Of course, these meal planner printables are available in my Etsy shop, which is always linked in the description box below. I have several options that you guys can choose from, so y'all can go and click that link and see if there is something that you like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to go check out um, if you're interested in the awesome thermal tote bag. I will have that link in the description box also. Make sure that you go and check that out and get y'all one of those awesome insulated totes. I highly recommend that. I absolutely love mine. So make sure y'all check it out. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.